Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. We've got to get into this evil temple. But first, I'm going to look at all the goodies these skeletons have. I don't know why I'm even... I don't know why I'm doing that. That the, These can only be um, elven chainmail sleeves and leggings or they're cursed. Those are the only possibilities. So I'm not going to look at those. Jasara, assess what you picked up. Cursed dagger. I'm gonna call that a cursed dagger. Charmed ring. Cursed broadsword. Alright, that's pretty typical. Cursed... Oh. Well, where's the other one? Where's the one that I didn't... <clears throat> Did I look at all of these? must have if the items are assessed. Oh, now I'm confused. Anyway. I think we should destroy the rest before we proceed. Perhaps. But we run the risk of awakening further trouble. Destroy them. <laughs> Alright. Time to finish off these skeletons. Unfortunately, James can't do much against the skeletons, at least not without certain potions. Like the holy bomb. But he can certainly keep them busy. If nothing else. Jasara, why don't you... and she doesn't have anything. Cast Sunray. That's very good. And 5 to 25. 8 to 30. You know, I'm going to switch weapons here. I just decided that. And... Oh yeah, and the ring. Ring of Lightning. Eat lightning! I'm just not satisfied with the day hammer. It's just not doing much for me. Let's use the mind ring. Let's see if it works this time. Alright, what happened there was that skeleton changed to our vanguard. Look, another vanguard. Ring of Giwa. I don't know why that's assessed. That's weird. I don't know why the vanguard is assessed. You can look at the vanguard again, if you like. Alright. <clears throat> Just horrible assess. Vanguard, well, it provides a lot of defense. That's all. It's a magical rapier. Cursed dagger, cursed dagger, iron ring. This this is a ring that just, well, I don't know if it's better than the warrior's ring, but it's a good ring anyway. Let's have a look at James. Attack 155, 165 defense. So we had 155, 165. Now we have 170, 185. Defense is 120 with that with that silly ring. It's a very good ring. I'm gonna have to look that ring up and see exactly what it does, but it's a very nice ring nonetheless. And this looks like a solution for the puzzle. Not that it's a hard puzzle or anything, but just in case. What do we got here? An iron ring, and I want to know what that sword is. Thank you very much. Cursed. And I'll just have a look at the solution just for kicks. There it is. But, you know, it's not that hard of a puzzle, really. Let's get this door open. 
Oh gosh. Something like that. Alright, now we got another free piece right here. Like that. And this one right here is going to require two pieces. So what I'm going to do... I can move this triangle here, up here, and it's still on the same angle, so it'll block the light beam, and that'll go over here. And then this one comes down through here. Put this triangle right here. This one right here. Like that. There we go. Now I have an extra triangle. Follow this angle here. go. Move this light beam down here. And that's the solution. It's a nice puzzle. There, we've got it! I think that's 200 less experience for looking at the solution. Oh well. You know, the game has gone through some pains to establish that this is an evil temple. And that's the truth. This place is really nasty. I don't know what these chains on the pillars are, but you can be sure they're evil. Oh, these things. These things are not a big deal, but they're annoying. Pull out your sword, James. Time for a battle. These things... They're like the air elementals. You don't kill them, you just force them to retreat. But in some ways, they are not like the air elementals. We will discuss. They don't... They're not undead, though. Eighty-four. That's a great. That's a great. Tentacle. All right. And Kandark has one of these nice things. Let's see what happens with the tentacle. Well, that failed. Not a very reliable ring. And the tentacles have had enough. Four hundred experience for everyone in the party. The goblins don't have to face that thing every time they pass by. There must be a safe way past. Right you are, James. Right you are. What have we got here? What is that, exactly? Why has it been defaced like that? As a ward against the evil that it represents? That's ironic. Let's go in here. All right. Oh, look, here's that place we saw in the vision. It's in that chest. This is weird. I was expecting I was going to get attacked. <laughs> I didn't. Maybe I can come in here again and get attacked. Maybe I didn't walk into the right spot to get attacked. Maybe there's something in this chest I want. Maybe there's nothing that our party could possibly need at this point in the game. Right. It's been a while since we've done a chest. Not like in Krondor, where it's just chest, chest, chest every day. A whole bunch of potions and a few rings. Well, I'm probably going to regret this, but let me see what these potions are. Poison, spell casting, I'll take that. Weak potion of healing, ornate gold ring, iron ring, and I want to know what these other two are. 
the ring mostly. But I suppose I can do the full potion. Just another gold ring. And another weak potion of healing. I don't know. Give it to Kandark. And I'll just drink this. Well, alright. Nothing much happening in here. Is that everything? What is that? Whoa! <laughs> there they are. I don't like being surprised. No, sir? No, I don't. And... I don't know. I don't really have much in the way of a... Drink a book. That's all I gotta say. And Jazara, you can cast... Fire Rain, is that? Kind of like, kind of like the uh, strong fire oil. You can't really see what I'm doing. Nice! Death Naga. There's only one left. Because Jashara is such a smooth character. Great. And they have nothing on them. I wanted to look at this thing here. Come on, guys. Isn't there anything to see here? I don't know. Maybe there isn't. Oh, I guess it's just some kind of evil shrine. I don't know. Alright, I'm ready to get out of this place. There we go. Check this out. We don't have to walk all the way back here, but we are this time. We might come back here once more, I don't know. Get out your sword, James. Alrighty. Hit the tentacle. That is a lot of hits. Kandarik, why don't you see if this works? Yeah, that actually does something. That's nice. Mace of Ishap. Yeah, sure. Let's do the Mace of Ishap. Help Kandarik a little bit. And. Jazhara. What did you do last time that was so helpful? Now I can't remember what it was. Oh well. Sun Sunray? No, I don't... Oh, uh, it was probably a Fire Lance. So, there are a couple of... 400 experience. There are a couple of battles that can be re repeated indefinitely in Return to Krondor. This is one of them. Doesn't matter how many times you come up here, you can still come back, fight the tentacles, get 400 experience for each party member, as long as you can stand to do it. And, as James implies, there's a way to get past those creatures without fighting them, and the way to do that is to have every member of the party wear this thing. But that's all it does. So, you have to be pretty scared of tentacles to want to forfeit all of the benefits of the other amulets in order to get past them. But you can if you really want to. Chainmail shirt unassessed? I can't have that. Assess that turkey. It's cursed. Drop it. Drop it in that pool there. Next time on Let's Play Return to Krondor, we explore more of the evil temple. We haven't really seen the evil part yet. See you then!